So here we are. We have got really nice bullish consolidation going on in Bitcoin. Really nice little inside bar after this big bullish engulfing candle that took out really a week's, more than a week's worth of decline. If we look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven candles have been erased by this big bullish move. And we're holding up here. What I really like is how we're holding here on the hourly. Okay, so we've got really nice bullish consolidation going on in Bitcoin. We are holding in the top half of this massive bullish engulfing candle. We are back above a week's worth of losses and, you know, attempting to regain this 20 moving average, which all the way down has been um, trouble. So if we look at where our breakout level, our next breakout level is going to come, then it's going to come above this trend line. We've got four touches of this trend line. And so that's going to be our kind of long uh, confirmation. So hopefully we'll get a nice uh, bullish hourly signal. That's where we're looking for a, to go break out. And that's a good place to add. Then we're going to next place would be to look for resistance is this 236 fib. This big 236 fib is the one that comes all the way down from the highs. So if we look short term, for our price level here, we've got this 236 fib from this most recent swing at 73.51. So above 73.51, we're going to look for the daily 50 moving average and 79.24. And then our fifth, third, our next target would be 81.84. So this big all the way retrace. And then Above there, uh, I think we, I really do feel like we have a good shot at going back to the top of this channel. I'm not entirely sure that I've drawn this upper one correctly, so I'm going to leave it loosely and say that, you know, if we bounce from here, I would say the most likely is in the in the middle and, and um, not back to the 200 moving average. But if we break out of the channel the widest way we draw it, then the 200 moving average would be where we look for. The problem with today and into next week is it's going to be quite thin liquidity. Um, most of the institutional players will not probably be swinging around Bitcoin. And that doesn't mean it won't move. You know, we can see some pretty decent moves um, in thin liquidity. Um, it just might not be, you know, uh, might not be the way you want it, but necessarily. So, um, and it, uh, the futures market, I think, will be a good one to watch today to see if we see, you know, short covering would get us, uh, give us the lift that we wanted to go um, higher from here. I know an awful lot of people are talking about this as a dead cat bounce and shorting it. For me, I am going to stay bullish so long as we stay in the top half of this green candle and above this Marabosu line. So that's kind of that's going to be my uh, bear line as long as we stay in this top half here. I think there's a really good shot that we uh, continue to push higher. And if we don't, you know, it's just a wedge and we'll retest the bottom. You know, we could very easy if we did this in a triangle here and came all the way back, I would say it's not nearly as bullish. You know, this then starts to look like a bit of a wave four. But at the moment, if we look at our hourly, we're holding above the hourly 200 moving average, uh, looking pretty well supported. When we did this before, we saw at least another leg higher.